Tell me what's going on, my friend. Well, I had to put a new alternator on because it was up for charging. And, uh, well, then I did that. And before I did that, it was shutting off sometimes. And sometimes it didn't want to start. What size engine do you have, my friend? No, uh, it was 5.0. Okay, perfect. All right. And so you said it was stalling? No, it would just shut off. Yes, it would stall. Yeah. And would it start and would it start back up? No, no, sometimes it wouldn't. But my better half, my old lady, she drove it the other night, roughly fifteen, seventeen miles, and she had no issues with it. Well, get it back up. Customer came and picked it up, and uh, it would not. He got a mile from the shop, and they shut down, and it wouldn't start back up. Well, <clears throat> okay, are there any codes in the computer? No, other than for me, well, the hill assist is not available, and the ABS is pulling up. Okay. <clears throat> and what are the trouble codes stored in the computer? What's that? The diagnostic codes, my friend? Yeah, it says, now it says service advance, uh, service track, advanced track. So your question to me is what could be causing the, it to stall, is that correct? Yep. Okay, so the most likely cause that we see here would be either an air or a vacuum leak, a faulty fuel pump, you know, a fuel delivery concern, uh, the mass airflow sensor, or in some cases, there is a, the ignition coils and or spark plugs, they go bad and they cause the engine to stall. Now, normally, right, we, we, we think of if the, the ignition components are bad, it just causes one particular cylinder to misfire. However, it's not that it's stalling, it just completely shuts down. Yeah, it's, it, so it, it stalls up. It won't even crank. So when you try to start it, you're saying that the starter doesn't even engage, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay, so when this happens, do you have communication with the PCM? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah, because I mean, I've, been, I've gone out on a service call on this thing before. And like right now, though, I mean, I'm showing two codes for the PCM. There we go. The what, what codes do you have for the PCM? PCM, I have, hold on, I'm pulling them up now. That's weird. It says no fault codes available. <clears throat> but it's communicating, right? Yep. So there were codes, but there's no no longer codes. Yep. Okay. So if the engine isn't cranking over right now, <clears throat> and this is, it, was this after it stalled? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so then what I would recommend that you do is we could just go after the starting circuit and determine why the starting circuit isn't working. Okay. Do you have access to any wiring diagrams or repair information at your shop? No, if, hold on. If I go to the previous, like what's stored, it says active grill, air shutter, A position sensor, minimum maximum stop performance and then the other one invalid data received from abs module okay so maybe there's an abs issue is it a u code what code is the abs code yeah okay it's so it's communication code so maybe we maybe we got an issue either with the abs module or a communication problem which is shutting down the computers which is possible and that's what I'm thinking. I've had the ignition checked. I've checked the key. 
the first key it was the chip was no good. I got a new key. I know the chip is good. Okay. So let me finish what I was trying to tell you earlier. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. If it's not cranking over, why don't you just diagnose the starting circuit? Okay, so, so did you say you do have repair manuals at your shop? Yeah, I have some. Do you have a wiring diagram for the starting circuit? Not on this one, no. Do you know how the starting circuit works? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you just go through the starting circuit and determine which part of the starting circuit isn't working appropriately, preventing it from starting. Wouldn't that make sense? Oh, well, yeah, it does. But like I say, it's, it, I'm, my guess is there has to be something with the PCM on this thing. Okay, so <clears throat> now here's the thing. I wouldn't disagree with you. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wouldn't disagree with you. But I would probably venture that you're onto something and, and I think that you should head in that direction. So if we haven't confirmed that yet, we need to run some tests to determine if that is truly the case or not. Right. Okay, so if we haven't done that, you haven't diagnosed the problem yet, which means you don't, we don't know what's wrong with it. So if you're right. dead in the water and if you're completely just you know up a creek without a paddle, well then why don't you start there? Go after the starting circuit first. So I would go right to the starter relay and determine which input to that starter relay is missing. You're probably gonna find there's no signal from the PCM. And then at that point, you could you could either look at the parameters under live data at the PCM to see if you can determine why it's not cranking over, or you could just manually check, you could manually, manually check the inputs to the PCM, you know, with a voltmeter to see if it has all the powers, all the grounds, and if there's anything else you think that you can see that's missing, preventing that PCM from activating the starter relay, that would be the way to go. Right. Well, yeah, I, I already checked the grounds. <clears throat> okay, so you've um, done a fraction of the of the troubleshooting. Right, yeah. But like I say, I've checked the grounds, checked the alternator, the starter, you know. Okay, so like I like I say, you've done a, you've only done a fraction, <clears throat> so you need to follow through with the rest of the stuff. You, <clears throat> I would think that there's this communication code is probably going to be related. Maybe you got a, you know, an ABS module. Can you communicate with the ABS module? Uh, hold on one second. It's, I'm trying to run a scan right now. <clears throat> but what's that U code that you're getting? Twenty percent left. <laughs> yeah, see, especially now too. Not only that, but now I'm getting all kind of different flow codes on uh, PC, the PCM, the ABS, the body control the front control interface module and the transfer case control module. <clears throat> Have you checked for, for a five volt reference coming from the PCM to the sensors under the hood when it doesn't start? No. Okay, that would be another thing that I would recommend that you do. Check what? <clears throat> for a five volt reference. Oh, okay. If the PCM isn't capable of checking of sending out a five volt reference, as long as it's that five volt reference isn't shorted to ground and the powers on the grounds are good going into the PCM, that would suggest we got a bad PCM. Okay. Yeah, and see, here's another thing I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah, I, I towed it a couple miles. Mm -hmm. And what's, uh, I mean, I know sometimes, you know, the ABS will cause an issue, you know, after towing a vehicle or something. Right. But what's kind of odd, too, now is I never had the ABS issue before and all that, and now all of a sudden, and I tried deleting it, and it's, uh, when I tried to delete it, it's not communicating. 
<clears throat> to the for the ABS module. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we definitely got a communication the problem. Yeah. So what you would have to determine is if that you know is that may, maybe a completely separate issue or is it related? You know, so <clears throat> again, checking the five volt reference coming out of the, you know out of the PCM to the sensors under the hood that would be a good good thing to do. Um, at any point, can you communicate with the ABS module? You know, when it's running, when it's working, when it's cold, when it's hot, or is it just all the time you can't communicate with that ABS module? Well, what's weird is I just tried to lighten it, but the light is still on. Is it running? Uh, hold on, that's what I'm looking for, man. Is the engine off or is the engine running? Uh, no, engine's off, key's on. Yeah, you got to start it, my friend. But if we can't start it, then... Yeah, see, I mean, it started up this time. So now it's started, okay. Like I say, yeah, before I even had my customer come and get it, mm -hmm. this thing was starting all the time. Right, I got you. Now when drove it 15, 17 miles the other night, mm -hmm. and then the Yesterday morning, customer come and pick it up, <clears throat> and damn thing won't start. Yeah, I gotcha. It's a, here's the thing: it's an intermittent problem, right? So, yep. that's what electro electronic components do when they go bad, right? That doesn't surprise me one bit. I've been an electronics technician right. for twenty years, so telling me that it works sometimes and other times it doesn't that it, um, that leads us nowhere. It leads us down uh, a path to nowhere. So the key yeah. here is to determine what component is causing it. So let me ask you this, what's that U code in the ABS module? Now it says left rear wheel speed sensor, right rear wheel speed sensor. Okay, well that shouldn't cause it to stall. Well, didn't you say there was a communication code? Yeah, there was, and now there's not. <laughs> it's fixed. <laughs> it's starting and there's no codes. Man, I'm good. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that's probably because it hasn't been driven since I coded in here. Possibly. Mm hmm But like transfer case, control module, of course, you know, the, the service track. Let's see what the hell this is showing. But even before, like I say, with all these codes, I have not had any issues. And I did a battery reset, too, on it. Now, on the transfer kit, invalid data received from brake system control module A, that's a U code, but that could be because the ABS lights it. <clears throat> Do we have that code right now or no? Or is it, sco is it still U not there? U0418. There's a technical service bulletin that was released by Ford May of 2016. Talking about this code. All right. <clears throat> yeah, but it also lists a bunch of other codes as well. So I don't think that's going to get us anywhere here. It says DTC zero, U0418 86, yep. cruise control DTC, invalid data received from the brake system control module. So if you got ABS wheel speed sensor codes, I would be willing to bet that that's what's causing this, this code because it's just, it's just invalid. So it, it can't set the cruise control because it can't see the, the, the speed of the wheels. That would be my guess. So... But you, you can you communicate with the ABS module right now? Is that right? Uh, let me let me see. <clears throat> We'd have to see, if we can, you know, just pull up the live data make sure we can view all that. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, we'd have to see if we can, you know, just pull up the live data make sure we can view all that, you know, the information under live data. <clears throat> 
Well, I tell you what, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you work on this, my friend. Okay. Yeah, like I say, I mean, because I have no lights on whatsoever. Yeah, I gotcha. Well, why don't you first verify that it's the PCM that's preventing it from starting when the stalling or from cranking when the stalling condition occurs. And then from there, we can start looking a little bit closer at the inputs to this PCM. And obviously with the key on, when it stalls, don't turn the key off. Just leave the key on. Make sure we got a 5-volt reference going to those sensors under the hood, okay? Okay. Because even, too, like one morning when I first got called out, uh, we, I fired it up. It was running. It ran for about two minutes, and then it just shut off. Yes, sir. I understand that it, that it has an intermittent stalling. We've talked about this already. That doesn't tell us anything. Right. It, it, I mean, it, it tells us the engine stalling, but that it doesn't tell us, it doesn't give us, you know, the answer. So we need to, we need to, we need to go about these tests that I'm trying to get you to run in order to get the answer to why it's stalling. Yeah. So please do that. And then what I want you to do is I want you to reply back online and we can go from there. Okay. <clears throat> I don't understand your question, my friend. When I take it for a test drive. What do you mean? You should, be, you should be running it under what? What are you talking about? Um, as far as communication with my tablet to see. Well, I make sure that the PCM, the, at the minimum, make sure the PCM is, is communicating the entire time. Before it stalls, during the stall, if you can, and then after it stalls. Before, don't even turn the key off. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to, re, you know, reset or recycle anything. In other words, recycle that PCM to turn it off. We just leave the key where it is, and then make sure. And you can also do the same thing with the ABS control module. And then I would check the other modules if possible. But the, but you know, the important thing would would be with this. It would be the PCM. Well, hold on a minute because. Uh, I don't know if it's going to read the PCM. It's having a hard time. There you go. There's the problem, my friend. So we got a communication with the PCM. So like I say, you're going to have to check the powers on the grounds right now and check for a 5-volt reference coming from the PCM. Uh, okay, yeah, it, uh, it finally pulled up. Does it start and run now? Yeah, yeah, it's running right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, we've been on the phone for 20 minutes, my friend. I'm going to let you go. I'll let you work on that. But just do me a favor, reply back with the results, and I'll, and I'll be happy to continue to assist you, okay? Okay. All right, my friend. Good luck. Thanks. Bye-bye.